Hello, this is Nick of Crafty Nick Nacks. Welcome to my channel. So first off, I want to apologize if I haven't been online much or haven't posted videos and tips for two weeks. I was out on vacation uh, three weeks ago and when I got back, I had to make up with the time I lost. Or not really lost, but um, the time that I... Because I was away for, for a week and I didn't bring my planners with me, so I was catching up on everything that I needed to do let's say uh, like in my devotions I wasn't able to bring my journal with me because it's too big so I was catching up on a lot of things my 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 fate journal my journal for my kids where I write things about them every day so I had to finish all my backlogs and then of course I went back to work so also a lot of backlog from work and then that one week of me being with my kids 24-7 made them more clingy than they are so the past week i've been juggling everything trying to get back on track and managing or making sure that my kids don't feel like i left them when i went back to work so the past two weeks after the vacation that we took i was just really spending time with my kids when i get home uh, and then the very few minutes of spare time that I have is trying to catch up with my backlog so this just now I am making this video just to catch up and to start doing this again get back into my routine so I haven't uh, prepared anything I have a list of things that I wanted to do videos that I wanted to shoot but I haven't been able to get to those because of again uh, life happening so what I, I figured I'd do something that's really, really easy and quick just so I could start again this routine and finally start shooting videos again. So today what I have for you is actually something that I've been working on when I have spare time. Um, the past few days, the past few two weeks rather, my spare time was more on spending time fixing our room, fixing my craft nook. So I figured I'll show that to you. I didn't I haven't shown a video of my craft nook or even a picture of my craft nook for a while so it actually it changed a lot I usually um, reorganize and declutter every quarter uh, it's not something set on a schedule it's just like it's something that I feel like doing every three four months so I just reorganized my desk and I want to show you how I did it and the idea behind why I did this if you've been following me on Facebook and Instagram, you've been seeing me post pictures of my kids on my table. Because when I when we got back from vacation, I don't know why, they kind of started obsessing over my table, so I couldn't use it. And they keep on playing on my table, taking out my pens. And the thing is, it's not the most baby-friendly space because I have sharp objects. I have pens, fountain pens, scissors, and syringes for my fountain pen. So... I needed to so actually when I got back I fixed everything and was really happy with how it looked but then my kids started playing on this desk after I reorganized it so I had to think of another way to put away my stuff so that they can't reach it or the dangerous stuff they can't reach and the stuff that I love the most they don't break so without further ado here is my craft nook. Okay, so let's get started. This is my desk, and I'm sorry if the camera is shaky, I'm just holding it. Let me back away for a few, so you can see the entire thing. There. So this is my craft nook, and then that, oops, you see those shelves stacked, or those cubby holes that are stacked? The top one is mine with my stuff and then my printer and I will go through them one by one so let's go to my desk first so this is my desk the table I'm using is a lifetime brand um, plastic table I love how sturdy it is this is actually an old table that I, uh, we've had and I turned it to my crafting table my desk and then this one is just sticker granite sticker that I stick stuck on I forgot what it's called but it's a thick um, board and then I'm sorry and then this shelf I bought this from Shopee 
it's one of those shelves that was really really famous a few a few last year actually so I got one for myself and I put it there it used to be here there and all the contents here or most of them rather most of these like the books here used to be on this shelf so I switched them up this used to sit there this one is fairly new just late last year I got it from a distash this shelf and I put it here because at that time that's the only time I had just to set up and put it there so when I got back I had an extra extra time I couldn't shoot a video because my kids are very noisy so I just decided to fix things up and put them there these are new this one and this one these are acrylic growers from Miniso I got this idea of using them here from my friend Jekka of the craft starter PH and it was such a good idea she put her pens inside so that's what I did and I also put these things inside which are usually or rather before they were just here like they were on acrylic cases like this but they were open not they didn't have anything they were not they could you could easily take them out and the reason I got these was because my kids kept playing on my desk and I needed a way to secure my stuff so all my favorite pens are inside I put the zig clean colors here so I can easily reach them but the mild liners that I'm not using are here on top because I rarely use them so anything that I don't use as much as I would are here and then I left my my what do you call these again Crayola super tips outside I the these used to be more but my kids are playing with them and then when I get home I see a few of them uncapped and so not usable anymore and then I have my stamp cleaner and a bottle of water that I could in a sprayer this is for crafting and then my fountain pens they are sturdy so they could and they are you need to I don't know how you you need to turn they don't snap the caps don't snap so I know my kids won't be able to access the pen part so it's okay to leave them out here and then I have here my washi storage these are my washi samples stuff that I got from trade or even my own washer rolls I put them in here it was actually a lot of work I started doing this reorganizing them into a uniform storage which is well, they're, they're not uniform now but um, I use the, these and then put them in there and it actually has more I have more here inside I haven't moved my washies I have new washies and new samplers from friends that I haven't moved here yet or on the uniform washi something washi holders because I don't have time or I'm not making time for it so maybe in the future and then I put my bone folders in there because that's where they fit there so I put that there this acrylic case I don't know where my sister got it it's actually from my sister when I moved back into our bedroom when my family moved here um, I found these among the stuff that uh, needed to be cleaned out I asked if she's still gonna use it and she said not really so I asked for it so now I have it this one too from her this has a cover actually but I put it aside so I could put my pens in here and then inside so let's go back to these acrylic growers inside here are a pair of scissors my staple free stapler gluey tape um this is glue with the needle point it won't focus i'm holding it so i can't hold i can't click the focus button but uh -oh. so that's that it's needle point and then I have another one you can see it inside let me try putting this back huh. okay so I have a pair of scissors this is watercolor um I don't know what to call it like a resist watercolor resist single hole puncher and correction tape that's that my favorite pens are here 
these are all zig clean colors then this white pen and a small brush pen that's that and then over here are my bullet journal stamps so these are small stamps stamps icon stamps that i can use for bullet journaling and then behind it are stickers <coughs> and then this is my cleaning pad my my parents just got home, so they are quite noisy. And then a pad, and then some watercolor pencils. And then over here, this is my ephemera storage. I will show that in one of these days. A lamp, one of the lamps that I use when I shoot overhead. Uh -oh. And then, water. Uh, these are colored pencils. This is deco foil. And then underneath, I have two drawers. These drawers are from Japan Home. I use this. I put them here to reinforce the top. Because, again, before my planners were in here, so they were really heavy. So, I put this here to reinforce it. I didn't remove it when I removed the planners because they, I don't know, it just goes well. So, here are my acrylic blocks and my, I don't know what to call these. Some... Some, it's used for distress inks but that one so those are there blending tools there and then here are my large ink pads and you can see here um stamps that I carved from erasers I just put them there and then oh this thing I use for cleaning stamps and then over there are whiteboard markers and a small lint roller. I use that when I do heat embossing. Okay, and then I have a speaker here, small speaker, if I want to play some music and I don't want to bother with the big speaker, especially at midnight when I get home. But I haven't used it th that much. And then next, so again, my mild liners are here, some of my um, brush pens are here. So I rarely use them, so they're there. And then these are the other uh, other things that I use. I put most of my hair ties inside so it's easy access. But I have stickers, logo stickers from my shop, sticky notes, and this bookmark, a small screwdriver, and sharpeners in there. And then beside this, a little dark, let me focus the light. There, here are my this is my printer and this one the ink tank is a little over my desk but that's okay I use it to store my rugs and then here is my fountain pen ink uh, there's more there at the back and this is where I put my when I clean something or I use a syringe I put them there to dry so they don't rust if I put them in storage and then there's my outlet there so I have my inks there, even under these are inks, and then there's inks under there, and then this is my, this is what I use to shoot overhead videos, so that's that. And then over here again are my planners, pad paper, I use this for refills, so my fate journal, my shop planner, the journals for my kids my fountain pen ink journal a book my 20, 2018 volume 2 bullet journal a spare notebook some notepads my rulers are hidden here and then these are all fountain pen related so this area is all fountain pen related these are ink vials that I have you may have seen me post a photo of these storage a few weeks back so I have two there and then this one houses my some syringes and bottles that I'm going to use for refilling. Glass pens for ink testing. This is watercolor, my watercolor um, bag. Then moving on to here. So under, so my printer and then some paper stuff, my bookmarks, my printer and then underneath are file cases with different types of paper and then I just pulled one out so I can put the this lamp 
there. So I used two lamps when I shoot my overhead video. This lamp and that lamp, and then I put my phone here. So that, and then I focus the light on how it best shines on my desk. So there, so I have file cases and paper. There's paper underneath, and then let's go here. Let me get the light. So this area is something that changed drastically. My my stamps, these are my stamps. They used to be in containers like this. But I moved them to this acrylic stuff because I used to put a lot of stuff in here but for a few months now, they were empty. They were stacked up here. But they were empty so I figured might as well use them. I put my stamps there. And then I have two cases here. These are electronics. I just put them there because I didn't know where to put them else in the room. These are all, again, fountain pen related. Some My spare pens are inside. And then this is gilding foil from leftover from a project. And then these are all my ink pads. So I have them grouped. These are Versa colors and then these are Versa fines, Versa crafts. These are just the ink cubes. Let me get one. If you've been following me, you've seen this for quite a while, I think. So there. And then, I should put that one in here. And then these ones are Distress Inks. This is a spare tray. And then these are other inks. And then these are pads for my Distress Ink. And then, under these, to prop these up, because I have large vertical space I put in some small cases with random ram, random art supplies these are mostly paints and these are cutters and other knickknacks that I don't use a lot so I figured I needed the space I need the space to work with for me so I want to elevate these but also make sure that it's still functional so I put in those cases underneath to double a star so I have three there's one more there And then under here, these are my tools, a cutting tools, scoring tools, stamp, um, precision press, and then underneath here, you can see here, those are my die cuts, or metal dies rather, and so some die cuts are also in there. And then... In here are my wax seals. This is my laminator. These are my gelatos. And then here are other stuff that I use mostly for the shop. And my glue gun and stuff like that. And then underneath are trays. These are mostly cutting binding tools. So my punchers are there. My glues, my different tapes. Or not tapes, but anything gluey and string. Anything that I can use for binding and cutting, most of them are there. They are down here because I don't use them as much. I rarely use them, so they're just there. Or some of the spares, like this glue stick is a spare, so it's there. And then these are my, this is my ring disc puncher, long, long arm stapler. Oops. And then this one, this tray, I can't see properly. Like, there. So this one has my tapes, washi tapes, and the lights. And then this right here are stuff that I don't, I'm not using. These are actually the leftovers from when I uh, reorganized my desk. Some of these items didn't have a home, so I put them there. And then this box here has some watercoloring stuff. So for spray art, there. So there, there. And then I have a sponge there. And then this box here, I don't want to pull it out. But this one has my wooden stamps. I rarely use them. So they're just there. And then moving on, this is under my desk. Let's fix the light. 
Okay, so I have here lots of sticker papers and cardstock that I use for my shop. They're all there. And then these boxes, because I love boxes. They're not really housing anything right now, but they're just there in case I want them. And then I have photo papers back there. And then some random stuff that I'm not using, but I might use in the future are here. Also stuff for the stashing are here. And then I have my, what do you call this? Cuddle bug down here. Some more wooden stamps. That's my mouse right there. It's big, so I don't know where to put it. So it's just there. More boxes. See, I told you I love boxes. And then clipboards for water coloring and heat embossing. This is my heat embossing kit. Some more boxes there. And then here are my shipping stuff. And then behind this gold thing is my are my stamp cleaner stuff. So stuff for that I use for making my stamp cleaners. So they're there. I don't want to disturb it. So and then this is my chair and then so this is the lamp I just and then th this here is my current projects or things that I'm currently working on I put them there and stuff that I randomly do not use every day but use frequent enough like once or twice a week or leftover projects that I haven't finished yet so I have also here my like here are photo papers that I took out from underneath the table because I'm planning on printing pictures. I have here more pictures that I put in and then some characters for my shop that I drew. Stickers, stickers, card, ooh, for when I'm, for when my kid is, wants to play. We use this, I don't know, just random, we use them. Some stickers, notepads, so they're in here. And then I put this headset there. Let's put it back there. So there. And then, oh, I have a small a trash bin here. It says, I rest my pencil case. It's actually an inside joke between me and my friends. <laughs> and my friend Janice of the... What's her channel? Now Geek Out. She made these stickers for us, so... And it's a really, really funny inside joke. I just love this. And when I see it, and it's so fitting, I cannot tell you the joke because it's a very private joke between us friends. But it's so fitting to put it on this trash uh, trash bin. So there. So there. That's Oh, no, wait. I have one more. I have one more thing to show you. This are more of my stuff in there it's not it's like my watercolor and other things that i don't frequently use very rarely use they are there and i also have one up there these boxes Th that one and that one the red one has my fountain pen boxes and then that's it basically we just saw a glimpse of our very messy room but that's it So there, I hope you had fun. I don't know if you had fun or got bored, but I hope um, I helped you think about how to store your stuff in your house or in your craft nook. And thank you for touring my craft nook with me. Let me know in the comments how you store your things and how you keep your things away if you're a mom or a dad or a crafter with lots of kids or with kids. Let me know in the comments how you take care of your things so that your kids don't mess them up, don't throw it away, or something like that. Destroy them. So let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. Bye! Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button and the bell button on the side to get notified of new videos.